Hello there, Internet Versions. I'm here with Let's Play Danganronpa, another episode, Ultra Disperkles. And today, I forgot in the last episode, we got this from, um, the, uh, completing the thing from the previous chapter. So, hey, I now have that. So now I'll get even more fucking Monokuma coins, because that's what I need. <coughs> with my smattering amounts that I already have and buying every ability that I see come across, that's what I need. I need even more of the Whoa, just fucking... Bolting up the stairs. You're taking like three steps to go up this, like this way. Yeah, he's taking like three steps to get up this many stairs. Like, damn, that is impre that is impressively fast, kid. And I know I can run, but I can't run that fucking fast. All right, this seems like a pretty obvious place to have a secret passageway. Oh, it's in this thing. That's this is it. Still seems even more obvious. How do we fit? Oh, not open it. Who built this? Stairs? This is the secret passageway we prepared in case of emergency. You did. Go through here, and you can get outside the town. How structurally sound is it if a bunch of kids built it? I guess the robots are pretty fucking good, so. What are you doing? Hurry up and leave. I mean, they've been blowing up in pretty spectacular fashion, but they've been able to stand, so. I don't fit through there. <laughs> hey, what's the holdup? If you just go through here, you'll be outside <coughs> of the city. <coughs> Pardon me. And seriously, would I actually fit through there? Didn't you want to run away? Didn't you want to escape this town? Yeah, don't say run away, otherwise, yeah. Th that's right, that's what I've always wanted. At least that's what I thought. <laughs> Toko, is it really okay for me to go? D do whatever you want. It has nothing to do with me. Not anymore. Well, I mean, she, she wouldn't say it that way. Oh my. Seems like I made it just in time. What, what, are, what are you up to, dude? Man, that was close. Truly a last <laughs> minute save. I know you, sir. You? Why are you here? Why am I here? To persuade her to stay, of course. <laughs> so that our boring and common protagonist who has no distinct characteristics doesn't just quit. Huh? Ah, uh, and she's uh, Komaru Naegi. Though you are normal, not an ultimate, or even a part of Future Foundation. You've killed three kids. I really do think oh, quite right. poorly of the idea that you would abandon your friend and run off alone. Oh. Are you really going to just run away like this? Is your conscience clear? Stop it! <laughs> what are you saying? She's about to leave for good! What? That would be quite bothersome for me, you know? That is why I must convince her to stay. Nagato, what are you playing at, man? Huh? It would be disappointing if she did not see the game through to the end. How it was meant to be. What are you playing? Don't at? just go speaking your mind without permission! You're a servant! Listen and he's not gonna me. listen. In order to see our paradise, this girl cannot stay here. So then I must ask, which is more important to the warriors of hope? Paradise or the game? Ooh. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's obviously the, oh. the game, of course. <laughs> what? You're a smart one. You must be at least vaguely aware. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sneaking about. You could have openly proposed a halt to these slayings to focus entirely on building paradise. But you didn't. And the reason you did not do exactly that and are instead going behind their backs is because you realize your favorite Miss Mage would choose the game over paradise. <laughs> Do you know what you call someone who behaves like you're behaving? Traitor? A traitor. <laughs> you're wrong. I care about them more than anyone. They all have high hopes for me. I mean, I am the leader. Nice. You? Isn't it best if you just calm down a little? You can leave the rest to me. God damn it, Nagito, you are oof. oof. Oh jeez. Okay. I really think you should. Is he is acting an awful lot like what a hmm, let's say parent would? Is he doing that on purpose because he knows that like it'll Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> That's right. 
people who are not needed in this scene should go and make their exit. What are you talking about? I must admit, I am a little disappointed. That she got when this I heard that she was his little sister, I was intrigued. <laughs> his? Makoto? Do you know him? Oh. Now listen, since I've planned the game out this far, I would like it to be completed. You plan- how much of this game did you plan? Of course. Perhaps I am being somewhat unfair to you, Komaru. To be fair, he was the one who let us keep the, um, hacking gun when we escaped the, um, ship, so... Rather, the one who disappointed me was Toko. Toko? Huh? Uh... Now, perhaps I am mistaken, but I believe we made a promise. You were to escort her to headquarters. And then you'd get Byakuya back? Promise? Es escort? What are you talking about? Is Nagito the one who really has Byakuya? Oh, I really think it should be Toko who answers that question. Toko, you answer you nothing every, all silent, the time. The story cannot progress, so I will speak. <laughs> I made a deal with Toko. If she escorts you to the children's main base, I will release Byakuya Togami. That's Consider it. it exchanging hostages. The plan was to trade you and Byakuya. Kamara would be a hostage. What? What are you talking about? And it was such a good deal, too. Why did it have to come to this? <laughs> That's a lie, right? You're lying right now, aren't you? You're just making it up! So if you believe it to be a lie, think back on when you two first met. Randomly on top of a hospital roof. And she knew our name. Did she know our name? This will answer it, I guess. When you first arrived at the hospital on your parachute, did you know why Toko turned up there? She came to save you because she was told where you would be landing. How else could you possibly explain such a contrived encounter? <laughs> the reason Toko has been your companion through all this was because of her deal with me. Lies! You're lying! Which is why she put up with how annoying you are at the start. I went through considerable trouble making sure you would complete this little game. Returning the hacking gun you had lost, having the Monokuma kids deliver items. Ah, I see. Consider it game balance, as they say. <laughs> You've thought about it before. We sure. get it, we're playing a video game! Why we enemies get it. conveniently drop items? Why the path you must travel on to advance is always clear. The game began as a way for the children to have fun, but it was also a game to help you grow. And I am the one who made it that way. Why me? So did you tell the kids to open up the shops? Did you plant like monocoins and new ammo and shit in the monocomas? Hmm. So the you drop mean why was I so particular about choosing you? Well, that is all your brother's fault, of course. Why Kodo? Oh, because in your eyes he killed Junko? He defeated Junko and yeah. <laughs> the one I truly hate. And I wasn't there to witness it. <laughs> That's why, this time around, I wanted to see the action up close. And not only that, unlike him, an ultimate, you are a normal girl who can't do anything. I don't know, she's done a lot so far. That was particularly compelling. Her brother, a hero, the symbol of hope, the little sister. Utterly boring by comparison. Oof, if ouch. someone like you were to stand against despair, that would bring hope <laughs> to the people. No, I can tell you, you're a fucked up individual, and I love you for it. As a character, as a person. exclusively found on the side of the weak, the losing side. People are touched by underdog stories, slaying Goliath, the weaker team winning a game. The majority of society is made up of the weak and untalented. They are inspired by such tales. But I feel... What? what are you saying? I feel like some of the things that you say now and some of the things that you say in Angron 2 are somewhat conflicting. If my assumptions are correct, 
you will release a light even brighter than his. I feel like you, what you believe has the best hope changes a bit. And in order for that to happen, I need you to participate in my game. Through the game, you will grow, defeat the final boss, and become the hope for this town. Again, I get it, I'm playing a video game. That's why it would be quite disappointing if you give up halfway through. We're more than halfway through. Please, save uh, this town from despair. Show me your dazzling light of hope to crush despair. Freaking look at his eyes. Wh what do you mean? I'm <laughs> hope? I, I don't understand what you mean at all. Ah, I see. So you still don't understand. I blame myself. I should have been more enthusiastic. You were kind of shouting there. But the regardless, end, I truly do believe in you. No matter how big the despair. Oh, that is the crazy will always camera. Win in the end. The crazy wiggly camera. That is why I feel no remorse becoming despair myself. Because if you can become despair, an even greater hope will overcome it. You, you're just as crazy as those kids. You must be insane. A little. Who cares about me? The more important thing is what you two are going to do now. I mean, now that Toko's lie has been uncovered. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Toko, please, just tell me the truth. Actually say something. What he's saying, it's a lie, right? That I'm gonna be traded for Biakia, and you've been lying this whole time. That's, that's gotta be a lie, right? It's totally not, and you know it already. Answer me, Toko! Who would actually want to save someone like you? Of course it's not a lie. So not only do you have to say it's not a lie, you have to double down and be a bitch about it? Fuck you. What? All this time Jesus. I was protecting you and cheering you up. It was all for the sake of Master Byakuya. Toko. That's right. I was deceiving you. And you just kept relying on me. Toko! Toko! Trusting me like an idiot. It's your fault. Jesus. I, I believed in you. This is why you're an intern of Future Foundation, Toko. You do well, shit like this. Well, you shouldn't have done that. Why would you believe in me? I have a split personality with a serial killer. I'm abnormal. Toko is not a serial killer. All my life, nobody even tried to trust me. So you purposely made yourself deceitful? It's always been like that. That's why I've never had a problem lying to people. But regardless, why do you believe in someone like me? You are actually decent. Toko. From the very start, I hated you. Just being with you was insufferable. Jeez. Lies. It's all lies. Oh. I'm not lying. It's the truth. I tricked you from the start. You were a fool not to realize it. You're just a stupid idiot who got set up by the coward Toko Fukawa. Simple as that. Um. And they're both just oh, crying. Toko. Don't you think that maybe your ranting isn't helping? I feel like that's a point. If you put it like that, she will be even more motivated to leave you behind, will she not? <laughs> if you want to stop her, You've got to try harder. Byakuya is important to you, right? I guess there's no other way. By force if I have to. That... Force? What? Really? Gotta kill! Kill, 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 kill! Oh, I got no choice. I gotta start the slicing! Does this one know that you're meant to take me? Am I about to have a boss fight with Jack? If you don't get serious, I'm seriously gonna kill you! Okay. Oh, ready, Toko? Go, oh, jeez! It would be true. Run away! She only has so. Oh, jeez. Okay. She only has so much battery. So. Oh, well. That stun gun. My hacking gun should be able to. 
Oh, so I, just, I am shooting her? Okay. Alright, well, I can't shoot her right now, so... You'll never be able to leave this town. Really? Really? We're doing this again? Okay, so she can't get her batteries back if I do that. Okay. How am I meant to dodge these attacks? What if I knock you back? No, that doesn't do anything there. Okay. Run! run. To survive, you have to sacrifice something. You know, whether it's school or the outside world, it's all the same. How am I meant to dodge these attacks? How am I meant to dodge? Yeah. Gee, okay, now you're actually hurting me because I have no clothing left. Stop doing that. Well, her battery's almost down, so. You defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town. Run. Run. How? How do I dodge that? Yeah, fuck your stun gun. You done already. No, how? I don't have a dodge button or anything. That's strange. I don't have a dodge button or anything. Even with the hacking gun, Komaru should be easily outmatched by Tuffo. Oh. Well, fuck. Okay. Well, I got a heart. I got three hearts. So you are, like, just meant to just take damage for this. Yeah, there's a heart over there, so you are just, just taking damage is a thing that's just gonna happen. They know it. Okay. Again, this is incredibly not necessary. Oh, fucking damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I got the hearts at least. Fucking touchscreen bullshit. Fucking touchscreen bullshit. Fuck off. What are you doing, controller? Fuck on fuck. <laughs> well, you're almost done now, so. You done already? Well, no, you're the one who's done it, seems. So. Right. Yeah. Oh, and the clothes magically come back on. <laughs> ah, she lost consciousness. Ah. <laughs> uh, so not necessary. So not necessary. Toko. Oh, I lost consciousness. You did. That means I must have lost. You did. If I... that's the case, I can't stop you now. Hurry up and run. What are you doing? If you don't hurry, next time I really will take you by force. I don't feel like you're going to be able to. You did it on purpose, didn't you? Lost? You lost on purpose. Huh? I don't know, I feel like she actually... Well, uh, if she, who was throwing me hearts? Because if she was doing that, then yeah. <laughs> you lost on purpose so you can let me go. Right? Saying cruel things to me and attacking me without warning? It was an act, wasn't it? So that I wouldn't hesitate to leave you here. What are you talking about? Why would you think that? Because... Don't treat me like an idiot. I already know you're much stronger than I am. We've been <laughs> together all this time. You're literally invincible. Toko, why? Because she can't just say her if emotions. If things stayed the same, you never would have made a move, would you? You always made me decide. You didn't do anything on your own. Hey, that was like that one or two times she did. So you wanted to give me a chance? I was with you all this time, you know? I... I know you well, too. <laughs> and also, listening to this crazy idiot's orders just makes my skin crawl. <laughs> uh, Hope. <laughs> it sounds disgusting when you say it. Yeah, a little. Well, that is completely understandable. <laughs> but are you really okay with this? If Miss Komaru runs away, the safety of the hostage cannot be guaranteed. Man, she's pretty strong, so I imagine she could still get in there and rescue them. I'm guessing that's her plan, at least. <laughs> My table is groaning a lot. Where it's gonna start collapsing. Well, personally, it's for the sake of the game. Byakuya Togami is important to you, is he not? Then allow me to lend a hand. See, you'll still make it if you go now. 
Oh, sneezing. Toka! Don't go near me! You... you... Run! There it is. Hi, Genocide. Don't get your blood on my glasses. I'm the Cinderella of the Slaughter Flower Garden. God damn it, Genocide. Holy shit! <laughs> Shut the hell up, you lanky, wavy haired bastard! Ah, all right. Even though you two share knowledge, you don't share memories, correct? So then, you have no idea who the real enemy is. An honest mistake, I see. Idiot! It's no mistake. What I share with her isn't just knowledge. She and I also share emotions. If we didn't, there's no way we'd both love Master. Oh. And my emotions are telling me this. To kill you and let Dekomaru escape. Holy You're shit. You're something of a pretty boy yourself. So I can kill you as I like. No more I see. So you've decided to stop taking advantage of Komaru Naegi. Is that friendship? Huh? To travel the harsher path. For the sake of protecting your friend. Such beautiful friendship. I truly think it's a splendid thing. But aren't you a serial killer? You're an aberrant who has no problem taking lives to satiate your own lusts. For someone like that to say things like friendship or friends, <laughs> do you not find it strange? Or even shameful? Shameful? <laughs> Trying to sweet talk a serial killer right now? Nagito? Friendship? anymore if you keep your promise you can be an official member of future foundation that's why you you just can't i never thought of of you or toko as abnormal not even one bit you're just a little strange that's all <laughs> but even so you are important to me you and i are friends now no matter what happens you're a precious friend and i won't let you do this you know <laughs> You're probably wasting your time. I mean, after all, she knows she needs to kill me. Byakuya's life is in danger as long as I am alive. If she breaks the promise we made and lets you escape... I'll stay. If that's how it is. If I stay in the city and go with her... Then it's fine, right? That's <laughs> hey! You know what the hell you're talking about? You were Stay crying here. and whining about escaping earlier, remember? You know what? You change your mind? I still want to escape! I'm still scared! Even now, but you feel the same way, don't you? You were scared too, but you tried to help me escape. And hid how afraid you really were inside, didn't you? There's no way I can run now, leaving you behind! Aww. <laughs> As expected, you just don't get it. I betrayed you. I betrayed you, you know? No, no you didn't. And you're suffering from guilt, aren't you? If you're hurting, you can tell me. I'm an unreliable, normal girl who can't do anything. But I can at least do normal things, right? 
And it's normal for a friend to help a friend. I'll stay. No matter how much you say no, I will definitely stay with you, all right? I've decided. Man, so annoying. All that lip service talk that I hate, so damn irritating. <laughs> Anybody can just say something. In that case, I'm a great detective, an astronaut, a reporter, and a Terra super beauty. You have a Simpson? <sighs> and besides, you have absolutely no idea what I'm really like. What do you mean? There's no way I'd say no. Huh? Rather. <laughs> Thanks. Toko! <laughs> uh, uh, Hugs? Oh, there. No. <laughs> uh, oh. So, um, about what just happened. It, it's alright. I kind of figured out what was happening. Huh? <laughs> really? F friend? <laughs> the last time I was called that was in a dream I had in grade school. That's pretty depressing. <laughs> well, you're actually one of many friends that I have, so you don't have to take it that seriously. You bring that up now? Let me have this moment a bit longer, jeez! Well, guess it turned out so all right. not funny. Yeah, things that, everything worked out exactly as Nagato wanted, and we're supposed to be celebrating that. <laughs> if Komaru Naegi had run away, the hope of this city would have gone with her. To prevent yeah. that, a wound like this will not diminish my resolve. I can't imagine it will, though. Though no. it does hurt. You have cut off one of your hands and replaced it with another before, so I mean, I feel like this isn't much it's of you. It's time you started talking. How do we release Master Byakuya? All you have to do is defeat the final boss. You Monica. saved the princess after defeating the final boss, right? In theory. In theory. <laughs> In theory? I was not the only one who came up with the plan to take you to the children's base. I have a partner, but I'm not sure what they are planning, to be honest. Okay, so which is your partner? Um, what's his name? Um, Kurakuma or Monica? Who is that? There's no way I would tell you that. I have already been disqualified from the game. Aww. But it'll be alright. No matter what kind of despair awaits you, hope will overcome it. Yay for the hope. deeper and darker the despair, the brighter and more powerful the hope born from it. Yeah, you're crazy, all right. Yeah, you a little. You are seriously disgusting. You're like three steps below vomit in a toilet. Anyway, <laughs> all you need to do down. is progress forward. I will support you until the very end. And then... So in order to get back Byakuya, we need to stop the children's rioting, right? Then... I'll do it. There's no other choice. You'll become the hostage? Right, Toko? But are you sure you can do this? Ah, she'll be fine. There's no way I can accept leaving you behind. Thanks to you, I've come this far. And not just that. Maybe I'm not really attached to this town, but I will save my friend. Yay! Kamaru. Friendship! Oh, Kamaru, there it is! One more thing. I have a little hint for you. Yes. The building the children are using as a headquarters is called Toa Hills. Everything's Toa Toa. Marching in there with just the two of you would be a bit suicidal. And we have guns and a literally invincible warrior, so. Monokumas fine. have dug in all around Toa Hills. Even you two would have trouble with that many. Then what do we need to do? What's the plan? Well, we could ask for help. From Shirakuma and Haichi. You really think they're gonna listen to us again? You really think that? After last yeah, time? Help. I'm shocked they listened to us. I'm shocked they even let us in last time. You wanna go back there again? They wanna stop the children as much as we do. They're not gonna listen to you. A lot of people died. Shirakuma said it too. I think. But no, I'm pretty sure they did. If we work together, everyone can be saved. And everyone's happy, right? 
What? Where did that come from? Now's not the time for heroics. But I what? think you and I can do it. It's going to be all right. I still don't see how this will... Uh, such splendid growth. Your world has gradually grown wider, as expected of his little sister. Mm. My judgment was indeed correct. That she wasn't just normal. Ah, that reminds me. The Resistance base is in the sewers underground, correct? So it's worrying that you know In this. that case, there should be an entrance to the subway if you go through the business district. As I recall, there was a blue building. If you move through there, you'll reach the base. Again, it's worrying you know this. You're sending us on a pretty specific path. Is this also part of your scheme? Yes. I would prefer that you think of it as support. It is information that will help you. Well, it doesn't matter what you're scheming. Master and Kamaru, I'll protect them both. Yay, but... my life. Well, it won't. Because Kamara won't let it. Do your best. Defeat despair. She'll try. <laughs> so who's gonna come up to you and talk? That's it. Just a little longer. Just a little longer. Oh, and that light of hope will anger. swallow the despair of this place. <laughs> I can't wait. I know, you saw. <laughs> so upset over something like this. You really are a child. <laughs> uh, you think you can defeat us, Nagisa? Yeah, we're not going back in there. I was wondering if there was going to be like items or anything in there. Kamaru. Thank you. Kamaru, yay! Huh? Saying it's so plainly like that. <laughs> it's actually kind of refreshing. Yeah. Yeah, for me too. I've never really thanked anyone before. Aww, okay, friendship, that sounds friendship. like a problem. Friendship, friendship, friendship. <laughs> uh, and as friends, they're immediately just ripping into each other. All right. Well, um, because I don't know how long it's going to be until the next save point, I am going to end the episode here. So, um, not much happened this episode, but I mean, we did watch basically half of an episode of an anime. Um, <laughs> uh, yay character development, yay character growth, yay in a somewhat ham-fisted way because it was literally, as I said, an episode of an anime. But hey, it happened. And again, what? I know people say, like, there are people in the comments who say this, it's like, oh, well, this game is like a shooter game, and then there's sequence where there's so much talking, I'm just like, well, it's also part, like, it, because it's part of a visual novel series, I would actually be upset if it didn't have visual novel moments, because then this game would have a lot less story and character than the previous ones. So when an episode has, like, four minutes of gameplay like this does, and half an hour of anime, I'm okay with it. I mean, gonna have to be careful with the monetization for this episode because I'm <laughs> gonna get screwed if I do that. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'm monetized now by the way, so woo. Um, <laughs> just as a side comment, but it's like, that was really sweet and like in a contrived typical way, but like it kind of has to be because of how they are and but yay friendship, yay Toko becoming like not a total fucking bitch all the time, yay for Kamaru's Kamaru-ness. Not yay for yet again another boss fight of just oh let's strip the ma let's strip the female characters because ha 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 it's so f fun and titillating and fun whatever and then fuck it um or whatever uh, so the next episode will we won't be in a shrine for the entire episode probably probably hmm. so until then this is version two signing out. <laughs>